hey guys welcome back so guys as you saw in previous video we have done about the coupon code which was part c and we have done with that crud of coupon so guys now let's implement this in our website okay so as we have selected our two products over here and inside that on the checkout page we have created one simple design for coupon code apply so let me just show you this html code so this is my checkout page so insert checkout folder we are on the index blade file so let me just minimize with this sidebar okay so this is the code guys to fetch that as simple i have created one input type which is name is equal to coupon code and then this is the coupon code class okay so inside the class where i have given coupon code and this is a simple apply button where i have given a class called apply button so once i click on this the coupon code should be applied with it so let's go to a js file so let me just show you that i have linked a checkout.js so let's open that file for that let's move to coupon code and here it is so let's type the code if you have not included your ajax setup so please include for the csrf token in laravel so let's type jq click where you will get the code of apply coupon button okay so my button works over here and then let's call that create a variable called coupon underscore code is equal to dollar of your from the input value which i'm going to get my coupon code detail which is given the class let's copy that class coupon code and now we have to uh, validate this so let's give validation for that if inside this dollar dot trim function where we are going to find the length l e n g t h double is equal to zero so if the length is small of what your coupon code so you can directly pass this Oops. done and then over here let's create one variable called error coupon okay is equal to we are going to store that please enter valid coupon c o p o n and let's paste in somewhere with the text method copy this paste hash error underscore c-o-u-p-o-n coupon let's give else let's copy the same thing and paste and let's remove this done let's copy and make this over here copy that and paste that's it so let's give a small tag over here and let's come back to our checkout.js file and run a if condition where this error coupon if not equal to null which will return fls if false that's it it doesn't work it will false so let us just try with this first let's get back and refresh the page and test now i'm going to click on this apply button apply you can see please enter valid coupon if you give anything it will accept cool so now let's type the code for to call your ajax query for the coupon so jq ajax over here and let's tell this method to post over here and pass this post inside this data you are going to pass a sim single value over here what you are going to pass coupon code will be the input and then input your value so this value you are getting right let's copy and pass that and let's create a url for it so you can tell checking of coupon check coupon code okay so let's copy and create a route for it first let's remove we don't require this data type copy and 
go to web.php over here let's type coupon code route where i'm going to use post method because we have requested for post where you are going to give here and inside this we are going to check out controller so let's move with that same controller as above copy that and paste and over here you can tell checking c o u p o n coupon done and let's go to checkout controller and create a coupon function so let's copy and go to your checkout so over here you can see that the function is already created and the code is done so guys let me just explain you with this because this was taking a lot of time to build so i have just cut short with the simple thing as simple you are getting the request of your coupon from here so let's copy this and send over here as simple then storing into a one variable called coupon code and then giving a if condition where coupon so where you are going to ask that coupon code value field of your database and then coupon code where you are going to check that so if exist then go inside if doesn't exist you have to return this coupon code does not exist where status and this error status so let us set this first okay so if you are using coupon make sure you have imported at the top so it's over here and then let's move to your checkout remember this error status also let's solve here if we'll use with this which is response dot error underscore status is equal to which we have set the value as error okay so if error comes you are going to use the alertify so let paste and then over here after this if there is any error in the coupon it will er telling that coupon code does not exist right so let us copy this and set the status over here so response dot status after that i want to make it to null so what you are going to make to null this coupon code let's copy that and paste over here and make it to null single quote or double quote anyone let's save and test that let's refresh so guys let me just give some unwanted code apply over here you can see coupon does not exist cool if i give any correct value it will go inside the if condition so let us check with that if condition now let's go and now we are moving inside the if condition so as first you have to create a variable called coupon which will be the object and then coupon where coupon code field so this coupon code field is nothing but your db so let me just move to your coupons table over here okay so this is my coupon code over here this column so we are matching with this column if this coupon code matches over there first then execute that where we are checking with the coupon code date and time so if date date and time is today date and date format for end date okay so if it exist if it is working correctly then you have to enter if it's not working correctly which will show the coupon code has been expired so let us check with the expiry thing first so let's move over here and yes guys so first let me good with this coupon code so let's edit this date first as you can see second february third date so third date is over over here let's change it to third and this date will be first february okay let's give update today is fourth date so let us test this okay coupon code updated now let's go back over here now let's paste the coupon code so this coupon code you have to copy okay let's paste the coupon code and apply let's see that you can see coupon code has been expired you got that message cool so if you are using this carbon make sure you have imported at the top use carbon okay as simple this will be your 
coupon code has been expired if it is not expired then it should move inside this so let's move with this option so in this you can see that this is the cart functionality which we have added into our website so make sure all your cart details is inserted into it and then from there we are calculating all its total price so you if you don't understand this please watch out the cart that is shopping cart video which is link is given in the description and then move it with this coupon code okay so let me just show you that cart one so it's over here so this is the cart page where we are going to use this so let me just browse with it so this is the cart functionality where we are accessing all these details and then calculating its price according to it so where you can see with the help of for each loop i have encoded the cart data and kept in cart item data and inside this with this help of item where i have stored item id of all your products so inside that we are going to products model where all the products is inserted and finding its item id of it and then we are fetching with the object of project with this offer price and then storing into variable called product price that's it so guys if you are using the tax option you can include this or else just ignore with this okay so now let's take this product price and store over here and all your quantity of your cart item shopping cart items quantity and multiplied with this where i am adding into a total price variable so make sure you are assigning it the value zero because we are concatenating and keeping all the data into one variable called total price so we are finally we are getting your total price of your product so guys now let us apply the coupon discount price on your product price so i mean to tell like so over here you can see that this is the 30000 total price of your products these two price okay so if you give any 5% off on this which is of your coupon type so let's move over here and here guys so this is the main concept of your coupon where you are going to check with the coupon type so let's understand what is this coupon type let's go to a dashboard so here is my coupon type where i have given in two types which is percentage and one is amount so if you select the percentage that time this will understand as five percent off on your total price if you give the amount type which will understand minus your five rupees from that total amount so you can continue with this okay then let's move on where i will explain this simple code of your coupon type so i am keeping this one as percentage and this two value as amount done so if your coupon type is equal to one then it will come over here where i have created a discount variable discount price variable and in this your total price of your card shopping cart total price which is this where it is okay so this is my 30500 is my total price of the shopping cart which is divided by 100 into your coupon price so what is the coupon price you have stored so you can see that which i have stored the coupon price for the percentage i have kept five so five percent off will be there on this okay so to test that we will test now but uh, let's continue over here let me just explain with this then then second amount which is the coupon price directly you can store that into discount variable so both should be the same variable because we are going to minus that with the total percentage so once you take and calculate your percentage or the amount it will be stored over here and once it's done then you are going to check with this discount price minus your total price of it and make it to grand total and then with that help of grand total you are going to pass and store over there let's go back to our checkout page where we will fetch over here in the else condition if it works let's come here and over here you have to let's create a variable called discount underscore price is equal to then dollar response i mean response dot discount price so this discount price is coming from here so let's copy this discount price and pass over here give semicolon and then same way we are going to call the grand price okay grand total so let's copy let's type grand total 
and same way you are going to copy the grand total price copy and follow up that done so once you are done with this you have to paste somewhere so where will you paste you are going to show over here so this is my grand total so whatever the discount after that you are getting you have to show over here so let us just add one subtotal because we want to show the subtotal which is 30,000 and then discount and the grand total let's get back to this index checkout page over here let me just move scroll down this is my grand total and let's add that let me just paste okay as simple just I have already done with this and I pasted now so we have created this class called discount price and the grand total price so same way you are going to give this copy this class and pass on this from your checkout page so let's pass this variable to that input fields paste here it is so as simple discount price where I'm taking and fixed to two and then grand total price we are taking that and fixed to two because this will give a dot floating points number so this extra floating points number it will give for that sake I am adding it if you require you can add or else just ignore this just remove with this so let's remove it for right now and then guys move this copy this two things and paste over here at the same place save it and let's check the output for coupon validation let's refresh so right now you can see the subtotal is 30 and grand total is also 30 let's add the coupon code over here let's copy this coupon code which is 5% off let's calculate and apply you can see that code has been expired okay let's make it to validate let's add 5 date update updated let's go over here and apply with this again let's give apply over here you can see that fifth of discount which is 1525 and this is the value so guys you have successfully completed how to apply with the coupon code but if you change over here let's see you can get the coupon code does not exist but the value didn't change so in that case what you have to do uh, let's make it this input box also disable which means read only will make it off so once it shows the price let's make it to read only dollar dot which is the prop function inside that i'm going to make read only true so on which you're going to make you're going to make on this coupon code let's copy this and paste that save let's refresh and test for the last let's copy the and paste now let's apply over here which you can see that it has become read only so you cannot type anything now inside this so guys now we have to implement the same coupon system in your riser pay or place order or stripe payment gateway so we will be proceeding with the riser pay so mean to say like when we click on this the time it should validate the coupon code also so you can see that 30,500 directly the amount is shown over here whatever your total price of your cart so we want this discount price also when you apply this coupon code that time this code should work on your riser pay so guys for this let's continue in next video which will be the part two of how to integrate coupon system in your payment gateway so thank you for watching this video guys and please continue next video and please subscribe like and share